Hi everyone. Let's see how we can create an NDS report for our product in the International Material Data System. First, we have to contact our suppliers and ask them to upload the material declarations into our IMDS account. Once we have all the information, we can combine the materials declarations for our product and then generate the NDS report. To do so, first we have to create a module component. We click on New Module and then Component. Here, we can provide the product's information including its description, part number, and weight. Let's assume we have just a simple metal plate assembly made of a metal plate and four screws. We call it metal plate assembly. The part number is AB and the weight of our product is 14 grams. Now, we have to add the components that made this assembly. Let's assume the supplier of the metal plate has entered the material declaration into our IMDS system and provided us with the submission ID. We can search it from here. So we do right click on our product, click add component and then refresh. We can search the ID that the supplier provided to us here. This is our ID. We can click search and then we would be able to find it. We select it and then we click on apply. Now here we can provide the quantity of that part. Here is just one. You can see that the part is made of aluminum so if we extract this you can see that the part is made of aluminum and here are the substances within the aluminum alloy now let's assume that the screw supplier didn't enter the material declaration into our IMDS account instead they provided us with a material declaration in the Excel format this is the material declaration that the screw supplier provided. How we can add this information into the system? We have to first create each material and the substances within that material. Then we would be able to add those materials to a component within our product. To create a material, and don't forget to save everything that you have already entered. So we click on New, then Data Datasheet, and then Material. First, we have to select the material here from the material declaration that the supplier provided. We know it's made of carbon steel and there is a zinc plating. So for the carbon steel, we're going to choose Steel Classification. Click on Apply button. Here, we can give it a name. We can call it... We can then start adding the substances to this material. For, for that, we have to click... We have to do right-click, Add, and then click on Basic Substance. We can search the substances by their name or their cast number. Here, we have the cast number, so we're going to start just copy-paste everything here with the cast number. Click on search button and we can see that it found the substance. It's iron, so we can just click apply. The only inf information that you have entered here is the weight. So, from the material declaration, we know the percentage is 99%. So, we're going to choose the portion to be fixed and we're going to choose 99. Then, we're going to continue adding other substances to this material by right clicking, add, and basic substance. The next substance is this one. 
we search by cast number, we found it, click on apply button, and here we give it the percentage, this one. We just keep doing that until it's done. So another substance, carbon, and this one, we give it the percentage. Our next substance, search, found it, apply, and the percentage. And the last substance for the school body, it would be this one, search, found it, click on apply, and here is the percentage. Okay, so we have to create another material and call it finish. So we're gonna save this one and we're gonna create another mater ma material. So click on new data sheet and material. For the classification, we know that the finish is made of pure zinc and it's 100% zinc. So we're gonna choose zinc alloy, click on apply button, and then we're gonna give it a name, let's say finish and that's it. So now we can add the substance within this material by right-clicking, click on Add, and Basic Substance. It only contains one substance, which is zinc. So we search the CAS number. We found it. Click on Apply. And here we can just choose the percentage to be 100%. So don't forget to click on Save. Okay, now we now that we create our two materials, we can add these two, two materials to a component within our product. So we go back on the MDS module search. We search for our module. We call it, as you remember, we call it metal plate assembly. We go in there. And here, we want to create a new component for screws. So, we right-click, click on Add, and click on Component. This time, instead of, instead of reference, we want to add that component, so we just add a knot. We can give it a description we can call it screw and we can give it a part number as B. The quantity, we know that our assembly contains four screws and each screw is one gram. You can also double check it from the material declaration that the screw supplier provided to you. It's, as you can see, the total weight of each screw is one gram. Okay. So now we have to add the materials to these new components that we created. For that, we right click, click on add and click on material. So if you click on search button, you would be able to see all the materials you have already created, or you can also search by the name or even the ID. So we're going to choose the screw body and here we know that the weight of the body of the screw is 0 0.99 grams. So we're going to add that. So we have to add our second material with, which is the zinc finish. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to right click add material and here if we click on search we would be able to see finish. We select it. This is the material that we created. We select it and we click on apply button. And the weight is just 0 0.01 gram. Okay. Now we have entered everything. We can see that we have our metal plate assembly. It's made of one metal plate and four screws. So we can click on save. So how can we generate the MDS report? As, re as you remember, we only create a module. To, cre uh, to generate a report, we have to, first, we have to first go here and convert the module to MDS. So if we click on search again, 
we would be able to see our metal plate assembly. This is our product. If we right click, you have the option convert module to MDS. So we're going to click on that. Do you really want to convert this module to an MDS? Yes, the module has been converted to an MDS. Okay. Now, if we search again, if you click on your product, right click, I mean, you would be able to see the create MDS report. And here, if you click on full report, then the report will be created for you. This is our report. As you can see, our you can see the part number, the descriptions, and also the IMDS ID that the system created for you. And then here you would be able to see the material declaration. You would be able to see that your product contains a metal plate, which is made of aluminum. And these are the substances within the aluminum alloy. And it also contains four screws and the screws contains a body made of carbon and also a zinc finish. So that was how we could create an MDS report for our product. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.